everyone, Salam alaikum, and uh, this is Sara and Safaf back again with another Ramadan podcast. Um, I know we've been gone for a while, but we've like decided. No, it was three days, so we chose one. We chose a one day break, and then the other two days we were just busy and had work because it's finals week. So we were a little um, preoccupied with education. But now we're back. Yeah, and uh, since we didn't, we couldn't agree on a topic to talk about we just thought we would give you entertainment part three part we talk, three part three okay because we did yeah part three right <laughs> or part four if it's part four just i think it's like, part two if it's part three whatever part it is if i'm it's not part three you should do like part two, <laughs> part two every time i say part three <laughs> okay um i'm pretty sure it's part two because okay. like we did like a general of entertainment in that and then we first did thing and then webtoon was part one this is part two okay well part three is gonna be about um tv shows um we watch a lot of tv shows and so we thought we would um talk about share, those shows share our shows since it's quarantine and are everything. we just doing western shows or can we do whatever um i think we can do a mix <laughs> i mean like we can talk about like first of all like favorite 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 shows and then like we'll go from there. So, okay. You go first. What's favorite. your favorite 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 favorite? I don't have one. Really? I don't have one. Fail. I really don't. This is just... okay. What's like your favorite show right now? Right now, Royal Pains. Okay, what is that? Royal Pains is a medical show about a doc, an ER doctor who gets fired from his job because he he accident he didn't accidentally kill he he operated on the trustee he operated on the guy who owned the hospital uh-huh. and he ended up dying on his watch uh-huh. but he did like normal procedure like he it did just like it happened it just it bad luck you know and it was bad luck and so he got fired because the administrators are like stupid and he couldn't find any other job in New York City because the family of this rich guy made it so that he wouldn't get hired by anybody that's stupid he said and I quote I cannot be a school nurse if I wanted to. And so oh, his God. fiance breaks up with him because she wanted a rich guy as her of husband. Course. And he just wallows in debt <clears throat> and depression and he's alone. And so his brother <coughs> his brother uh, asks him to go to the Hamptons with him mm-hmm. for the weekend so that he can cheer up. They go to the Hamptons and he um, saves somebody at a party and the person who start who owned the house is thankful to him and he's like why don't you become my concierge doctor concierge doctor is somebody is a doctor who goes to you instead of you going to the hospital okay. so you call this person they will come to you and they will help you and you pay them okay and it's like uh what do they say an accessory to the rich <laughs> it's like the new thing now and so he ends up becoming concierge doctor in the hamptons mm-hmm. and he helps rich people helps both rich people and poor people so the poor people does he doesn't charge them because the rich people are super rich that's his thing. Has his stick. Has his stick. <laughs> and his brother is an accountant and he like hates his life because he can't turn. No, Hank is the main character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then his brother is Evan. Yeah. <laughs> and Evan hates his life because he's the account he's the CFO. Hi, I'm Hank R. Lawson. I'm Evan R. Lawson. I'm CFO of Hank Med. That's <laughs> what okay. he says every time. Um, and he hates his life because um, they don't charge the poor people and so he's like where are we gonna get the money and he always tries to like, do a marketing scheme or something like that um, and the, his uh, physician's assistant is an Indian lady named Divya mm-hmm. she's actually a really cool character to be honest I thought it was like token diversity but it's actually like <laughs> they're exploring her culture and uh-huh. um, like what she thinks about it and like what she wants to do with her life and like all that, which I think is pretty cool for a show made in 2009. Mm-hmm. You know, I would say this is like the psych of medicine because this is super funny. It's like two guys; they're like brothers, and they they uh, help people together. But they are brothers. <laughs> they, they, this one they are, but in psych they aren't. Like, but they grew up together, it's like that. Um, and so I'm really, really liking Royal Pains. It's not... Well, it has, like, cheesy drama because, like, Hank is, like, super... It's also 2009. <laughs> it's true. Hank is, like, super beefed up. <laughs> He's, like... He works out all the time. And, uh-huh. like, all the girls are after him. Uh-huh. Um, but he's, like, really, like... 
in the first episode he's like really mad at everything but like as the episodes go by he's like i'm doing what i love he comes more happier and stuff like it's only in the pilot where he has like this bitter mood because he got mm-hmm. fired and his fiance dumped him and he uh-huh. lost his job and all that stuff so now he's becoming better. now he's like He's like Hank, <laughs> you know. He's a really cool. It's like a comedy. I like. Yeah, it's, it's like really a funny. Comedy, it drama. is a medical comedy. Drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, medical <laughs> comedy drama. You know, the only reason why I watched it is because I watched Doctor Mike react to it. You know, Doctor Mike. Doctor Mike I do. is the I watched YouTuber. The version. You only watch this girl. I watched yeah. every one of his react videos. Because they're lot. super funny. <laughs> it's actually, a not a lot. It's super. He's like super cool. I like him. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I'm just remembering the chest compression. <laughs> <laughs> he always it, when he watches. So Dr. Mike is this a YouTuber who's an actual doctor, and he watches like he reacts to medical shows. And so um, every time somebody goes into like cardiac arrest or somebody faints or something like that, he's always like chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions. And when the person doesn't do chest compressions, he's like the patient's dead. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's over. But like the show has to go on. And so sometimes the not, medical they inaccuracies. For, they have to, no, they have to check for a pulse first. He says that he's like you have to check for and pulse, then if and there if there's is no, no pulse, pulse then you start chest, chest compression. Yeah. He yeah. always in the comments. It's really funny. They said <laughs> he said, uh, Doctor Mike, this person faded. Chest compressions, but but. <laughs> He's just coughing. Chest compression. <laughs> okay. And so, I like his videos. They're like inf- they're informative, but like you understand him. You know, you're yeah, not like, sense. oh, what's going on? You know. Um. Well, that's interesting. I do watch a lot of medical shows, so I would. And I know Doctor Mike because I watched his Scrubs. Um. Reaction video. I, I love like scrubs. scrubs. I love Scrubs. It's so funny. It's I so, can't. Like, nasty. I can't with. I can't with it. It's so hilarious. This is really, really funny. And it's just like, yeah. like it's funny, but like it shows that they they have to be funny so they can get over the fact that people are dying. <laughs> like it's just that it's a coping mechanism, and that's yeah. like what I really like about it. But I just love the JT and um, what's his name, uh, his friend. Um, I don't know his name. I forget his name, but like his black friend. Like yeah, I love yeah. that relationship. Cause Why they... is it always in TV shows? They always have the black friend. Like in Psych, they have that too, but they actually like mention it. They're like token black friend. You know. I think they do it in Scrubs as well. I'm not yeah, sure it's like in every show. That well, like I know. it's also like, cause it's true though. Cause if you look at it, if you look at it, like it's like when they made fun of that one guy in in. Um, Black Panther, he was the one white dude in an all black cast. <laughs> he was my favorite character. And everybody was like, He was my favorite character in the movie. And everybody was like, Oh, the roles are reversed now, or whatever. And he's like, Totally cool with it. <laughs> everybody's making a big deal out of it. It's just like, that's, That of happens. Of course, he's though. the only white guy. He's in Africa. But that happens though. It's like you get an all white cast and then one black person to say, Oh, we're showing the black oh. community. Oh, but... this is really funny. So I watched this movie a really long time ago called um, Not Another Teen Movie. And um, Ooh, it's, a, so it's a Chris Evans movie. And um, they, they're like at a party, like they're at a function. Like it's a high school drama. Like it's a, it makes fun of the entire 80s genre of like uh, teen movies. Like 16 Candles and um, teen movies. In Breakfast Club. Teen movies. I'm just giving examples of what it's Teen making movies. fun of. And so, um, the the black guy, there's the black guy is at the at the party, and then another black guy shows up, and he's like, "Hey, this is my white neighborhood. Can't go find your own." And he's like, "It's okay, brother. I get it." And he leaves. Yeah. It's true, I thought it was so funny. It's true, though. Like, that was the only good thing about that movie. It was so bad. <laughs> also, supposed Chris, to be bad. Chris Evans. That was like one of his first movies. I think. That's horrible. Um, um, we need to do an entire episode about movies too, because that's a whole that's other a whole beast other genre. Um, um, so, um, what's another? So yeah, Royal Pains is the show that I'm watching right now, and it's gonna be off of Netflix next week. So I gotta watch eight season in seventeen days. What season are you on right now? Two. Oh god! <laughs> I, like, I thought you were already on season three or something. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> no, I have work to do, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, is that it? That's the only show you're really into right now. 
Yeah, and we were watching Black Clover the other day, but you're not into that anymore, so I I'm kind of like out of I it. I can't with his yelling. It's too much yelling. <gasps> yeah, but you learn later on that he he's yelling because nobody, because nobody else is. Who's gonna? If he's not yelling for himself, who's gonna yell for him? He doesn't need to yell though. A guy with no magic in a world where magic is the predominant thing. People making fun of him his entire life. So he just yells. No, he just like yells encouragement to himself, like I'm not gonna give up. Like that's yes, fine. Like, no, 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 that's the... fine. That's fine. That kind of yelling is fine. It's the kind of yelling where he goes, <laughs> and it's like not necessary for the storyline whatsoever. Yeah, later on, it like it it lightens up. Yeah, there's not as much yelling as in the beginning. I just but he's can't just really, it. it's really so obnoxious. It's like. Oh, I can't with him yelling. It's so funny it's though. So horrible. I love the show. Like I can read it because I don't have to imagine the yelling. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, but like there's like I, a YouTube video where it's like Black Clover is actually not that bad. <laughs> He's like, when you read the manga, you don't have to hear it's because exactly. the yelling going to your brain. Like, it's so horrible. Um, there's Black Clover, and then it's all I'm really into right now. I'm watching a lot of YouTube too. So That's I have not a surprise. Give me a second. So I not have not a surprise. <laughs> I like movies and shows and TV stuff, and there's a lot of YouTube analysts that do video essays on YouTube that I subscribe to, mm -hmm. and I kind of like went into that hole today. <laughs> and so um, crazy. So like lessons from the screen. So these are names of some channels that I watch. Lessons from the screenplay. Um, Super Eye Patch Wolf. He's more like anime. Um, mm -hmm. Who else? Um, my Mother's Basement. I love My Mother's Basement. He's so funny. Um, he's also more anime. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Nuxtaku. He's also very anime oriented. He's also very funny. Um, what's some more western... Uh, Cinema Wins. Cinema Wins is basically the antithesis to CinemaSins and he's very optimistic about everything. He just released a video today about um, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and everything great about that and I kind of like threw it by my mouth a little bit but he reminded me of some of the good stuff in that movie and so Literally the I was kind of happy. The dumbest thing ever. I know it's the dumbest thing ever but like what are you gonna do? And who else to follow? I follow Just Right and... I have I have them on my computer. Right That's here. fine. We don't need to know the extent of <laughs> all people my... you follow. Oh, Alex Myers, the guy that reacts to TV shows, the one that reacted to Twilight. Oh my god. Um, Art Spear Entertainment, Cinema Ones, like I said, Film Joy. He's also a very good critique of movies and stuff like that. High Top Films is more like comic book movies. He's like he loves Batman and he loves Spider Man, and if you mess with any of those, he will destroy you in his video essays. I watch um, Lindsay Ellis. She's more like musicals and mm -hmm. like old classicy movies. Um, make stuff. He did an, he did stuff on Avatar: The Last Airbender, and he did a Star Wars episode. He didn't do a lot, but okay, his stuff was really good. Wait, Mr. Morgy is the yeah. only one piece. He's the only one piece YouTuber <laughs> that I follow. <laughs> Um, Nerd Writer is also another guy I follow. He does a lot of, he does, he analyzes paintings too. He just doesn't, he only doesn't do, he did, he analyzed Rihanna's song Work, like work, 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 work. Okay. It's really interesting. Um, Overly Sarcastic Productions is, if you want to learn about history or uh, Shakespearean dramas, go to Overly Sarcastic Productions. I guess we're going to tag all of these channels. Oh, here. yes, we are. <laughs> um... And oh, the film theorists, he's just plain fun. <laughs> a film theory, theory. <laughs> not just a theory, uh, a film theory. Yeah, How and do these I know are that line, Safa says it over and over again. <laughs> these are the ones day. that I'm subscribed to, but there's a lot more people that I watch that I'm not subscribed to, so you so don't need to know the extent. It's okay. Yeah, Super Eye Patch Wolf is one of those guys. That's lovely. And right now, he's ranting about Final Fantasy. Nobody but... cares. Okay. okay, fine, fine. <laughs> But YouTube is also like kind of like a streaming service on its own, but it is a streaming service on its own. But like for free, and it has yeah. like cre content, creative content creators, and I like. And I should subscribe to Lessons from the Screenplay. I can't believe I'm not subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> you know who I'm subscribed to on YouTube? Hmm. Nobody. 
I know. Subscribe to zero people. I just like to support them because I like their content. That's good. For like you. they make it for free, and good it's for like, you. how can I help? Good for you. Maybe Other than you giving should, you maybe money, you should, maybe you should ask them for help. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I should. Well, we're already fifteen minutes in, and uh, we got a lot of videos slash TV shows from so far. What? Uh, so, what shows do you you like, Outlander? Bruh. I know you Bruh. love it. Bruh. I know. Outlander? Just... Bruh. <laughs> so you like, just make me, give me a list. You like Outlander? Oh, you I like... have to give you the straight up list, but you get to go I did a list. <laughs> okay, Outlander is a show. No, I get to explain Outlander. Oh You're a savage mouth. You're wasting yeah, time. <laughs> I'm not wasting time. I'm, it's perfect amount of time. So Outlander is a show about a lady named Claire who's British and she gets, she lives in 19... 19- 14 and she was a nurse in world war one um she gets um she gets um something happens and she ends up in 1714 <laughs> so she ends she up, touches a um, rock and then she ends up in 1714 ends up, ends up tra- she okay, okay i didn't make fun of your stuff so please, i'm not making it. fun of it literally like, that's literally what happened that's what There's happened more behind it Okay, okay but when you watch the first episode, does There's it explain? It. Is it explained? But you see these druid people, these fairy people, fairy who dance people. around the rocks for an hour. And before she touches the rocks, she's like, I heard a buzzing. And she could feel the wind. And when she touches the rocks, she feels something. So it's not just touching the rocks. There's more behind it, okay? And if you don't know it, don't talk about it. Okay, when I talk about my stuff, I made it bare bones. Let's keep this bare bones. It's bare bones. You okay. Finish. Okay. Oh my god. So she touches rocks and she goes back 200 years in time to 1714 and she just has to live and she's in Scotland so she has to live through the, Scotland. The wars. What are the wars through called? Scotland in 1714 and this is when the Highlanders were versus the British and the British were like colonizing everywhere because it was like we're great and we need this everywhere <laughs> as Trevor Noah You know says. what Britain you know what Britain needs? It needs to be everywhere <laughs> like now. If y'all don't know you should watch Trevor Noah's British like colonization joke videos they're hilarious he just big, he just tramples all over Britain and it's beautiful. But anyways um so she goes back in time so she has to deal with the Highlanders and the Scottish um way of life in the 1700s which I think is beautiful it's just it's it's really good and she's like a 19 she's from the 1900s so she has more of a forward way of thinking and they're all about you mean progressive sure she's more progressive and they're all like you're a lady you can't do anything and she's like that's a lie I can do a lot and then she just shows everybody up basically okay what other shows do you watch but that is literally my favorite show of all time and I could talk about it for hours but we're on a time crunch here because I've spent 15 minutes talking about YouTube (laughs) Anyways, I don't know why everybody um, hates YouTube. I'm not hating on YouTube. I'm no, just but saying like other people. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, another show that I really, 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 really like is um, Merlin. Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> you want to speak there, buddy? Ooh, Merlin. Okay, Merlin is the most funniest show of all time. It's basically um. King Arthur and Merlin, but instead of King Arthur being a kid and pulling sword out of the stone and Merlin being an old geezer, um, they're both teenagers. Arthur's a prince. Arthur's the prince. And uh, Merlin becomes his manservant. And it's literally the best thing ever. It's just mm, too funny. Jinx and Sue. <laughs> it's too funny. It's too just amazing. The storyline is actually really, really good in Merlin. It's really funny. It's just like perfect. I just like I think I've watched it like three times, and I might watch it a fourth time just because like for funsies, for funsies because it's so funny. Okay. <laughs> I just can't. Like the Arthur Merlin like antics are just so hilarious. Like, mm-hmm. like when Arthur makes fun of Merlin, then Merlin gets to make fun of Arthur sometimes. And it's just so 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 funny, basically. Um, okay, but that's like my second favorite show of all time. Right. What's another show that you like? Um, another show that I really liked. Uh, probably Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, like, I just true. really, really, really like that show. It's a cartoon. It's, we like cartoons. If you were raised, if you haven't noticed. If you were raised in the early 2000s and don't know Avatar The Last Airbender, you didn't live. Straight up. What? Calm down. I am calm. It was a show on Nickelodeon. It was the best. Yeah, so was Disney Channel. 
Phineas and actually, Ferb actually, was all okay, the rage, okay, okay. man. Okay, early two thousands, Disney Channel was perfect. Yeah, what did what, Dan, no Danny Phantom was, was Nickelodeon? No, no, Danny Phantom was Nickelodeon. It had um, Wizards of Waverly Place. Yes, Rachel, not Rachel Ray. Um, that's a Raven. Yeah. Um, um, the only two. Possible. Yes. Um, uh, what else? Call me, text me if you want to reach me. Um, what else did it have? Way more. Phineas and Ferb. The Proud Family. Proud Family. It had, um, and it just had really good movies as well. Um, good movies. Yeah, yeah, like movies like the Wizards of Waverly Place movie. That, we <laughs> that so was much. funny. Um, and then there's like other, there's a lot, but like the, oh, it had Camp Rock. It had, <laughs> like that age of Disney Channel TV mm-hmm. shows and movies and creation was just on a whole nother level and now yeah. it's just the same old it same crashed old and burned <laughs> it crashed and burned they just make the same thing nickelodeon had again. a lot of good stuff too it had last airbender it had drake and john <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, had, it had uh, danny, danny phantom, phantom and it had fairly robot, odd fairly odd, odd parents, parents. Um, invader the, zim invader zim what's that one with the the, the teenager that owns like a, they have like a subway shop or something subway they have like a, a restaurant and he's like a teenager i got a girl oh, that i really just like jordan. <laughs> yeah, just jordan i had um i had a lot of good shows too but now i don't think nickelodeon's a take anymore <laughs> like i think it is but like i don't think they can. i think they're on a streaming service now or something like Maybe. that um but yeah nickelodeon had a lot of good stuff so like when we were kids the prime entertainment time was just beautiful. <laughs> the Rugrats movie with Rugrats the with X go wild. crossover with the... Rugrats Go Wild. Yeah. The Wild Thornberry. Yeah, that's good. Those were good shows, Wild too. Wild Thornberry is a good Recess show. was a good show, but oh that was God, on Disney. Oh, my God, I freaking love Recess. <laughs> but it's still early 2000s, so early 2000s Disney was bomb. Um, and we'll put a, a link to all these shows in the You mean I'll put a link to all these shows in the description. <sighs> Sapphire so will put a link to all these shows, shows in the description. Yes, I will. If you want to watch Outlander or Merlin and then just like hit me up about them, they're both on Netflix. So, you know, have fun. Like, Tell them your Instagram, Sada, so they can hit you No, up. no, they can just hit us up here on the Gizwiz Gamers. Okay, smart idea, smart um, idea. We need to have a whole genre for games, too. We're going to have a lot of portions of this entertainment section. That's all you can do in quarantine, though. So it makes sense. We haven't talked about One Piece yet. Oh, also, another good show that I, I, I love with a passion is Prison Break. Oh, yeah. That show was freaking fantastic. The Flash and Arrow... Uh, they're good, like in the beginning they're good. Like the first season and then they just crash and burn. Like, yeah, that's else. true. <laughs> DC's Legends of Tomorrow is actually really good, like throughout the entire time. I tried entire it and run. I couldn't. It's yeah. so weird, I love it. Um, but um, Prison Break is a bomb show. It's like. Uh, if Gintama doesn't come It's out literally soon. in the name. They like break out of prison. Really? Like three times. No way. I think four times. Times? Can I just talk Six about times. Gintama real Sometimes. quick? Sometimes. <laughs> no, because Gintama will take forever. If you want to know Gintama, Gintama is an anime. <laughs> I want you to about summarize odd jobs, it. About, odd jobs. about guys who take People odd don't jobs. know what odd jobs he's okay, here. Okay, okay. Explain it. Let me explain. You let me explain it, so be quiet, okay? I will. Okay, so Gintama's about a rad trad group of three <laughs> who do odd jobs around uh, Japan, and this is a Japan era where aliens have invaded, and um, so it's like old Japanese culture with aliens, basically. <laughs> and these three do odd jobs around the city, and odd jobs is literally they'll do anything. Like, for they'll be money. like, for money. So, like, be like, kill this guy, they'll be like, okay, we'll go kill this guy. No. Like, I mean, like, just odd jobs okay like mm-hmm. paint my house for me and i'll pay you money and they'll paint the house find my missing dog and yeah. they'll find the missing dog <laughs> like stuff like that and it's just the stupidest it was actually mixing octopus it was so <laughs> horrible it's so horrible i don't understand why my sisters like this show they, i've tried it i've given it so many chances because they forced me to watch the show and i just can't it's horrible it's just, it makes no sense. No, you know why I was reminded? Because they make fun of Prison Break in Gintama. Like, I know. he gets, so the main character is a samurai, and he um, he gets arrested for, like, doing something. I don't even remember what he did. <laughs> he gets arrested, and he says in the show, he's like, if I knew I was going to be arrested, I would have gotten a map of the prison tattooed on my back. Because <laughs> he gets a mess of the prison tattooed on his body. No, he doesn't. He said, I would have. In, pro- yeah, in prison break, he does. 
<laughs> you tell me. You know, You're they also made fun of Home Alone. They're like, Home Alone 1 was fun great. They made a lot. I don't know how <laughs> they have, like, the right to do that, like... No, because it's in Jump, and so he asks... But Home Alone isn't in and Jump. And they're all... No, but, like... Okay, but, like, that's just a funny Western reference. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> they make fun of Home Alone. They say, Home Alone 1 was great, and 2 was, like, kind of okay. But 3, you know, you gotta stop with a trilogy. You gotta, like, let it... Let it let it die down, you know? Because oh <laughs> he's like, the kid acting wasn't so... He wasn't really in it in the third one. My god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Too funny, too funny. <sighs> one Piece is... The greatest story that has is, ever been told in the history of the is world. It's something we've lived with our entire lives, let's That's be true. honest. Like, it was like probably the first... Four kids. <laughs> on It was on Four Kids, but yeah. like, I don't remember watching it on Four Kids. I but do. Like, it was the first show that I would like like physically go and try and find it online (laughs) like i was well i'm still am but like we're not obsessed but like we're very into the storyline and we've been with the show for a very very long time like 10 years maybe no no 10 years since great it's been longer than that it's like 10 plus years we'll just we'll put a cap on 10 (laughs) they can imagine beyond that um, it's a story that's been going on for 20 years now. It's a now. story that has been going on, but we've been following it for like... 10. 10, around 11 maybe. That's and, crazy to think about. And it's basically just pirates... Finding a treasure. Finding a treasure, but also saving countries, laughing at each other, killing each other, um, crying with mm-hmm. each other... Um, just creating a family together basically and a friendship and nakama <laughs> which is a friend in Japanese um, and it's just super fun so yeah it's one piece and I think um, this is where we're end today because it's 27 minutes and uh, yeah it will definitely have an entire episode about one piece maybe. probably yeah um, people talk about it for hours there are podcasts about this show there are it's it's a big thing. But this, there's a guy who made his career off of drawing the art style on Instagram. That's interesting. Like his job is just to draw his style. That's interesting. But yeah, those um, are the shows that you. we watch. And uh, thank you for coming back for another Ramadan podcast with me and Safa. You know, share Safa. like, share Safa. like, Safa. Safa, share like, subscribe, mm-hmm. right? Share like, yes, subscribe. we're not doing this. Share like, subscribe, and thank you for listening, Ramadan Karim.